Hey, this is Nathan, guys, and today I will be reviewing Outcast issue number two. And this is by Kirkman and Asaceta. Issue number one was stellar. You guys know how much I liked issue number one. Issue number, I mean, I don't know if I reviewed it in this channel, but I really liked issue number one. Issue number two, I'm not sure what I'm, I'm going to think about it, but let's see. So, yeah, let's start off with uh, this review. So, yeah, this comic opens up with Kyle, and um, he's in the hospital visiting his mom. We've seen a lot of his mom talk. In the last issue, in this issue, we see what actually, you know, kind of, he d he doesn't talk about what happened to her, but we can infer what happened to her. Uh, she got possessed by a demonic person, a, a demonic demon, and that demon kind of, you know, took over uh, her and she kind of made, uh, her, kind of made her uh, a villain in a way, because she, we hear that uh, she actually beat up Kyle and she deprived Kyle of so many things that turned him into this person that he is, you know, and right now that he's so kind of like he likes being inside a lot. He really doesn't like being outside. He's been so treated, you know, he's been so like kind of like treated really bad that it affected his whole life. And it was all thanks to his mom, her, his mom, but it's not her, uh, his mom's fault. His mom was possessed by a demon. And now she's in a vegetable state, so she really can't talk. But he likes visiting her in the hospital and telling her, you know, about the day about you know kind of like how he feels sorry and he how he's seen as a villain because something happened and if i feel like uh you know him beating her up in order to get the demon out i think that's what happened and people perceived him as a villain when she was kind of a villain before that but it wasn't her fault it was the demon's fault um other than that we have you know kyle kind of turning his life around after ho the whole situation in the last issue you know he is cleaning his house you know but we see flashbacks um, he he's even going out more, and when he goes out, he sees one of uh, you know what not a, his friend but one of the people that he's hated for years, and uh, he seems to have a lot of uh, you know he seems to have a lot of things with um Emily I think that was Emily uh, who is kind of like Kyle's um, sister in a way we seen her last issue as well she got him outside um, so he that guy had issues with Emily I think that's her name she you know he basically I think he is kind of a stalker in a way uh, he wants to see her and I don't know what he did to Emily but uh, Kyle beats him up and as well as the cop who is Emily's uh, husband or boyfriend I'm not sure but he, they beat him up and the cop doesn't seem to like Kyle as well but after this whole situation he invites him for a drink and at first it all seems friendly but then he's like oh yeah why did you even beat up your daughter and Kyle you know he got kind of gets offended and he just leaves um, you know, that's basically the end of the story for Kyle, but he doesn't, we see that he really doesn't like to talk about anything that happened, and other than that, um, you know, strange things are happening in his town, and, um, you know, even the, kind of like the Pope, not the Pope, but kind of like the, the head of the church, he told them that he should be on the lookout for strange things, because they are happening. Um, so yeah, Outcast was a great issue, the verdict of this issue was that, um, it was great. The art is incredible. I was really excited for a lot of things, and I'm intrigued by the issues to come. You know, I really want to know all the backstory about Kyle, and I'm excited. So I thought this issue was stellar. Definitely a pickup, 10 out of 10. 10. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Goodbye, guys.